Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your soul machine man. And today we're looking at a singer tradition. This particular one is the model 2250. There's some newer ones with different numbers like 2271 and stuff like that with different features. This one's the 2250. And the reason we're looking at it is because it came in and it was locked up. It was jammed. Nothing would turn. And usually that's uh, in this one because of either a thread lock down here or no oil in here or the shaft that goes through to the gears is dry or in the top there is a cam on top that has a almost like a serger on the bottom and it has a, a cam up here that goes around and it drives the hook down here so uh, all things considered this is not my uh, least favorite machine of course it's not my favorite Singer made that in 1958, but for a singer and for a base level, entry level, $129 machine, this one I would take over the ones with the drop in bobbins that have all sorts of issues with that. At least, you know, I tell you folks, try to get, when I say get a Kenmore 158, I say make sure it's a front load 15 class 158 series. Well, this is not a Kenmore 158, it's a singer tradition. And uh, it is a front load 15 class. And you see it's got the 15 class bobbin, which has been around since the, I don't know, 30s, 40s. It's been around a long time. It's got this weird reverse up here that some people aren't real fond of. Anybody who's used to, you know, your muscle memory has it over here, a lever, but they have to reach up here. That's the way they do it because it's all about price. And if you're looking to get an entry-level machine for somebody who's learning how to sew, who's just starting out and you don't want to spend, like for the entry-level uh, Bernina 1400, or for a lot of the entry-levels are in the thousands, uh, you know, what the heck. Go down to Wally World or go to Joann's and give them 129 plus tax. You can get these online for 129 but you have to be careful because a lot of times people will buy these online and if it's Amazon or something like that that gives you an absolute money back guarantee and for some reason they're not happy, they'll send it back. Or sometimes people, we've caught them doing that many times when I worked for Hancock's, they would buy it on a Friday, do their project over the weekend, bring it back Monday and say this and that, whatever, and they'd give them their money back and they'd be lined up there. Oh, buddy, it was, it was terrible. But people will do that, take advantage of the system. And sometimes you'll get one that's called uh, a repack or remanufacturer or this or that, all the language they use. Sometimes you'll see it's on there for $49. Wow. And the one right next to it's $129. Well, there's got to be a difference. Well, the one you get for $49 may be a repack. It may not have anything uh, like, you know, the, the flatbed arm. It may not have the accessories. It may not have the book. It may not have the foot control. You know, foot control is going to be... You know, $19.95, $29.95, depending on how much you pay and who you get it from and all that. It's a lot of variables. But the prices are all over the place. But if you get one in a uh, seal box that hasn't been opened, that's a singer tradition. You get it from a respected uh, seller like Joann's. And they sell you one of these for $129. And you're not going to try to, like the one lady on the comment section, she said, I tried to redo the uh, pool furniture with oversized UV thread and it wouldn't work. No. It's not going to work because that's an industrial application. It requires a 69 nylon UV thread, and uh, this is not going to do it. This is for garments. This is for shirts, shirts and jammies and blouses and pillowcases, and it's a light-duty machine, maybe medium-duty, but it has it does have a steel drive gear, uh, two steel drive gears down in here, which is amazing. You take this bottom screw off here, and you'll see the drive gears. But uh, what usually happens to these is, uh, like this one came in locked up, and it was just it was just out of oil, no oil in it. And a lot of people don't know they have to be oiled. I get that all the time. Oh, uh, they told us not to oil it. Well, they don't want you to oil it because there's so many places that can be improperly oiled. What they should do is go on and say, bring it to us, and we'll service it for you. And when they find out that some of these places charge 125 to service a 129 dollar machine, people go, well, I'm out. And that's where you get into the. Res uh, the throwaways, the disposable cycle. Why won't I spend $125 to service a $129 machine? Well, that's your decision, but it makes no sense to me because I can go down and buy a $15 Singer 403 or 404A or something like that, and I'll spend whatever it takes to keep that thing going because it'll last forever. These are disposable. 
Now, because they have metal gears, nobody hear me say it's an all-metal machine. I didn't say an all-metal machine. People hear that. Metal drive gears. I never talk about all-metal this or not metal. It's metal drive gears. It has metal drive gears just like a, just like a Kenmore 158. It's nowhere near comparable. Uh, they're in the same uh, category. It is comparable, but it compares poorly to a 158. But it compares much more favorably to any of the drop-in bobbin singers or any of the drop-in bobbin genomes. I would take this over any of the drop-in bobbin machines that you can get nowadays because it's a front-load 15 class. Now, I saw in the comment section one lady said she sent it back because the daggone thread was coming out with grease on it. And I get this one pretty often, too. People say there's grease on their thread. And what is happening quite often is that in the hook assembly down here, and you'll see this comes apart just like any front load machine that's a 15 class. This is called the race assembly down here. And see how nice and clean that is? All that is is shiny oil. But that's because I go through the process of cleaning that out. This, this, this is my clean the race rag. And this is what came out of this one. Because when you don't oil this area down here, this hard chrome hook runs on this soft alloy here and it grinds it away. And people think that's grease. No, that's metal shavings. They're, they're fine. They're just as fine as you can get their metal shavings. And they come up and your thread comes out. And I always run it through to get the oil and the stuff that's remained off. You can see how it's discolored and it goes back to its regular color over here. But when it starts out like that, you got to get that out. And then I will keep going to uh, clean rags until we get down to the last, the very last clean out. And it's like this. And then we oil it again and wipe it out till it's absolutely clean. There's nothing coming out. And then we put another layer of oil, layer of oil in there. So this runs on a layer of oil between the actual hook assembly, which like I say, is hard chrome. And over here on the right hand side, where it goes in, make sure your needle's at the highest point when you do this. Half the circle, I have a video on how to put all this back together and take it apart. The standard 15 class, click to the left, click to the right, put this back on, the little tab goes at the bottom, this faces away from you, so you put that in like so. And if you've done it a thousand times, it's pretty easy. Snap, snap, left one goes to the right, right one goes to the left. If you don't do it that way, it will not work. And your 15 class bob, and of course, loads like such, and it turns in a clockwise position. Hold the latch, snap it in, hold this thread to the rear, under the foot, turn the hand wheel towards you, pick up the bottom thread, then you put them both to the rear, then you hold them both as tightly as you can, like you're holding the leash on a puppy and don't let it go, and then you take your stitches and away you go. And uh, like I say, up here at the top, this locks up up here, you spray it from the underneath with some WD-40 if that's all you got, but under here, you have uh, one, two, three, four screws. I took these out so I can show you. You have a little stopperoo that holds the bottom down here for a leveler. And you want to make sure you don't get any oil on your motor. It's a fractional horsepower motor. It's a good one. And if you take this off and you see things that are hinged, swing back and forth. Anything that is hinged or rotates or pivots or slides, give it a drop. All these little bearings, just a drop, just a drop, just a drop. Anything that rotates, pivots, hinges, or slides, even over in your take-up area over here. Take the side cover off, one screw, and you'll see the needle bar goes up and down and stuff, and there's hinge, the take-up assembly. Hinged, rotates, this rotates over here, you put a drop in there, pivots or slides. Anything that does that, you give it a drop. Of course, be careful taking this off because these two holes keep these two panels on over here on the side, you keep those lined up. Put those back on. And here's my favorite part of this one. Look how tiny that is right there. I know that's real tiny. See, made in China. It's like the old contract law thing. What the large print giveth, the small print taketh away. <laughs> so you're all excited. Wow, got me a singer. Yeah, but guess what? Made in China. But, doggone it. It's not one of the worst ones that are made in China. As a matter of fact, I would recommend this to somebody. If your budget's 150 bucks, and you want to go on and get one for uh, 129 plus tax, and maybe buy it from a reputable place, uh, 
Joann's has a policy of there's no returns on this. You buy this, it's your baby. You take it home and goof it up or decide it's not for you. Joann's, I've been reading their policy. They don't return these. They are disposable. Sorry about that. If I'm wrong, somebody can correct me, but I read that today. Did a little, little research before I went online with this. But uh, this isn't the worst machine you're going to get. And people say, oh my gosh, if this is a review, you have to thread it for us because we can't possibly figure out how to thread it. In spite of all the hundreds of videos and the daggone instructions. Maybe you get it with no instructions. Okay. Let's see. This is for a big spool on one side, small spool on the other side. We'll put the small one on this side. And with the presser foot up, the presser foot up, you have a guide right here. It snaps in the guide, and it goes in the little slot back here. That's one. And two brings you down here. Threes around, fours back behind that, and that's the one thing that gets missed most often. And at that point, you always lower the foot, pull on the thread, make sure you feel resistance. You know you got it threaded right. And you go down to the needle, you put it on the other thread guide, and you thread it front to back, straight through. I'm not feel like threading one today for it. So uh, that's the Singer tradition. Uh, I don't hate this machine. I'm not the, its biggest fan, but if somebody said, I'm going to go to Joann's or I'm going to go to Wally World, I'm going to go someplace and get a serviceable, cheap, entry-level machine, I'd say this one here because it's a front-load, 15-class steel gears. Don't challenge it. Don't try to sew on something crazy like denim or anything other than shirts, jammies, blouses, pillowcases, and you'll have a pretty good little machine that'll last you if you'll keep it serviced, keep it oiled, and you'll have to spend, like in this case, this lady's going to spend shy of $90 with me to get it serviced. But she was telling me, I, I paid about that for it. I said, well, it's up to you. If you want to throw it away, fine. Get another one, and we can just do this forever. And people do that. They buy them, throw them away, and uh, they just don't think they need to be serviced. But they do. It's no big deal. But this thing's going to be as good as new, maybe better. And uh, she'll get it back tomorrow and be happy as a clam and be back in business. Singer, tradition, and this is the model 2250.